Bichon picks up and they've got a short field. They've got another goal. It's tied up at 12. I can't not believe what goes. I'm seeing Can here. Lola Dam chase that one down? That is a score for Hashley Goodell. Fantastic run by Julia Lola. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. And we believe that that requires knocking down the paywall. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch, and we want them to go viral. When you become a member, you enable us to improve our working relationships with tournament organizers, events and federations. And you'll help us to produce live stories for Ultimate fans, and to generate new fans with our enhanced content. We, we are, are a group, group of, of Ultimate, Ultimate players, players, coaches and video enthusiasts, and we want to bring you coverage on a more consistent basis. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Ciao ragazzi, support the community. And subscribe Ulti TV, there's lots of the videos, posting, everything, check it out. <laughs> they are the best one. Woo! If you want to grow Ultimate Sports, uh, become a member of Ulti TV. Regardez Ulti TV. Deviens un membre Ulti TV. Et fais grandir ta communauté. Top Ulti TV, tell me, et roguinki me, ultimate of Andromeda. Si quieres ayudar a Ulti TV, puedes ser miembro de Ulti TV. Thumbs up for Ulti Everyone, TV! Everyone, follow, follow Ulti.tv on Instagram, on YouTube, they've got everything. Best like, content! Like their pictures if you love Frisbee, just do it. You, we're counting on you. Give me a love for Ulti TV. Game member of Ulti TV. TV. Woo! <laughs> Mamma mia! Contribue au développement d'Ultimate avec Ulti TV. Like and subscribe, Ulti TV, the best in the world. We want to grow Ultimate. We want to grow Ultimate. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We have our signature style two camera setup. With thousands of hours of experience. And our crew is globally dispersed to facilitate coverage everywhere around the world. We can also scale back our broadcast with just one elevated camera. Or scale up with two fields, two cameras and two commentators on each. We work with local teams and we all have the same mission, to grow the sport and bring it to new people by providing live coverage and new stories. Become a member today on our Patreon page. And, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories, ideas and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. And welcome back to the Swiss Championships here in beautiful Neon, Switzerland, when you will see the Crazy Dogs versus the Fly High Lison Women's Division third place game. I am your host, Corey Sostre, along here with Val Schindelin. And Val, how do you feel here? Yeah, <laughs> how do you feel about good. your team? You know, my team's on the field right now, playing in white, so I'll try to stay as neutral as it calls for the situation. I'm Swiss after all, so it shouldn't be too hard. But yes, I'm excited to be watching this from here. And as we see here, a D from Julia Steiner, excuse me, in which she was on the stream yesterday commentating, and we expect her to be one of the key players for the Crazy Dogs. She is the team captain, has a lot of passion and respect and love for the ultimate game. So we are going to see a great game. I think, again, it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. As we see here, number 14, Selena Fleur gives the disc to Steiner. Steiner throws it to number 53, Mule Bach. Go, 
Kodzinger. Back to Mullibach. Mullibach looking for options. And it is down. A great mark right there from Florence Windler, number 36. And we know she can put it. She chucks it to number two. Guadagno gets down with it as well. Fly high is flying high through the field right now. Back to Windler. We see Maddie from yesterday's stream giving us a laugh back. <laughs> she knows I can be corny sometimes. This is Evans to Windler. And it's just over the head. Up number 57, half to Rosa. As you see here, Julia Steiner picking up the disc. Looks like some shoes being tied. And it goes right back to number five, Barclay. And Barclay to Florence Windler for the score. And Valis Fizz pumping in the air. Fly high. Hold 1-0. Come on. For the first point. What a start to the game. Yes, and it was a break, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll let the score sell out. <laughs> <laughs> As you see here, just a heads up play from Roxanne Barkley to get the disc and give it to number 36, Florence Windler, Windler excuse me. And even then, one of Barclay's fun fact, if she's not on the field, she's probably napping somewhere. But that time, she was not napping on the play. Very heads up to get the poach D and get the assist for the score. Let's fly high, put the disc up. They are ready. And it is a slang down the field from a line layman. As you see here, crazy dogs. Getting the disc, number 29, Vlaken. Vlaken throws to Ackerman. Schmitte. Back to Vlaken. Vlaken throws up the line. And he's gonna get there. Ah, just out of the reach from Schiele. And now you can see Fly High have an opportunity for a break off of this turn. And a throw away from Fly High out of bounds intended for Gavillet. This is picked up from Crazy Dogs. Diego throws it up, but it's a run through D. From Knights. Erica Knights getting an important turn for Fly High. Do so you see Alan Lehman pick up the disc? And what a beautiful around. Can Florence get there? Oh, just out of the reach for Windler. Diego's looking around, surveying the field. It's a Flick, Huck, score for the Crazy Dogs to tie the game up 1-1 to hold on that point. And it looks like to number 29, Bob Thrakken. And I guess, Val, can you just kind of tell us what happened yesterday? Explain, you know, just the sequence, the journey of your team, just how Fly High did. I know we saw them on a stream earlier in the game, or earlier yesterday. Yeah, you saw the quarterfinals on the stream uh, where Fly High um, got the win, got to the semis, and they faced Fab from Bern in the semis, um, which is historically one of the better women's team in the country, and uh, lost which was in some way a logical loss, but I think they gave quite a bit of a fight still. And uh, now find themselves here for the bronze medal game. And again, we are pleased to show you this game as well. 
showed you the last dream game, like you said, in the corners when they played against Zurich Ultimate Medusa, and they won 15 to three for a statement win, and now coming back here to play in this third place game, and they are having fun, and they look good doing it too. So you see number nine, Galen with the disc. Throws it up line to Lehman. Lehman chucks it deep to number 57. Rosa Hafter, and it is out of there. The crazy dogs defend that well. So you see the disc being picked up by number 53, Michelle Muhlenbach. To Gamma, back to Muhlenbach. Fuller throws it up line to Muir. Norm Muller looking around, trying to find some options anywhere, seeing if she can go back to the reset. Chucks it deep, and it is intercepted, but it might be a stall call. And she is stalled out by number 59, Valentine Destran. What great defense right there from Fly High. And let's see if they can capitalize. Lumen looking up line, and it is caught to Garland. Yannick Garland looking around, throws it up line, a one-two pass to Elaine Lamont, and it is caught. Fly high up two to one. As we see here with the replay too, Lehman and Gollin just doing a one-two pass. Amazing stuff to see. And that's what you can tell right there with their chemistry as well. But then again, I'm talking like I, I play with them. We have an insider right here. Yeah. <laughs> they both have been playing together for close to 10 years, so you can talk about chemistry for sure. Right here we've seen some head scratching going on. Looks comfy to me. And it is off. Florence Windler throwing it deep down the field. And the Crazy Dogs start their offensive possession. See if they can level up 2-2. And it is a drop by number 29, Bath Rocking. Fly high looking to break. Madonna throwing it deep to number 13. It's just too much. Lorek Lemon trying to reel that one in. Crazy Dog starting a little bit deeper, but now ready to get the game back started. Surveying the field. When they're playing intense defense, as so is the rest of the Fly High team. And Simone Vlaken just drops the disc on the goal line. Fly High with an opportunity to capitalize and get a break. Windler picks up the disc. And it's just out of the reach for Barclay. It looked like a little bit of a miscommunication there. Barclay thought she was going to cut it in. And Florence thought she was going to cut out. But it gives the Crazy Dogs another opportunity. And what a nifty throw to Sophie Ackerman. Ackerman with the disc. Throw to space. Vlaken. Back to Schule. The Jäger. Schmidt. Back to Vlaken. The Jaeger looks, winds up, and chucks it deep to number 51, Sophie Ackerman. And she comes down with it. And she throws it immediately. And it works out. It is number 34, Simone Vlaken. 
for the score and the Crazy Dogs tie it 2-2 after some insane turns in deep field position within their own half. And as you can hear in the background too, the Crazy Dog supporters from the men's, or the open, excuse me, division, third place game coming here to support their women's division as they have close ties. And the stands are excited to see this go on as we have two gladiators battling it out. Fly high, ready for the disc. Crazy dogs talking it out. Vrakin about to pull. And Bob Vrakin with it. A pull, not even making it a little bit past the break, I believe. Regardless, fly high with great field position, and they'll take that all day. As we see Elaine Lehman pick up the disc. Edmund throws to the connection again. Galen. It's right over, and it is caught by Jordan's Gamma of Crazy Dogs. Good thing. Vrakin. And it is a turn. Again, the fly high. Ladies with a great field position as it goes across the field. And it is another turn. Just a bit short for Duran. A timeout called for the Crazy Dogs as it might be much needed right there. Both teams throwing turns of late in the last two points, maybe to recollect their heads. And I guess, Val, as you can see too, again, I'm going to use you all game just because you're the best resource we have. Yeah, go for it. What can you imagine that they're saying in your team huddle right now? I can't imagine. Flow going on about how we can play cleaner than this and um, to get back to the basics, to what we know. Um, maybe treat the disc like gold. It's, you know, one of the things we hear sometimes. And um, you can actually hear she's talking about a strategy when a turn is made, how to do fast breaks and um, just, I think, clean, clean up the game a bit. Yeah, I think they started strong and then in the last couple Last point, mostly a lot of throwaway throws, so. Understandably so. And they're getting turns too, as both teams are. Now they just need to focus on capitalizing. And they exactly. have a shot too, with again, great field position. It's the crazy dogs are breaking their huddle. Probably talking something similar too. Mm -hmm. They are ready to go. As we see here, breaking it. Crazy dogs are starting out in a side stack position. And fly high coming out and a bit of a poachy defensive scheme. Let's see how it goes down. I'm excited. You see Steiner throws it. Back to Gudemug. 
Looking like a zone defense from Fly High. A little bit of change too, as you can feel the wind picking up a, a, a bit of a presence here. It's good. Your Steiner has it. And he's a throw. But it's a D by Lan Lehman. She picks up the disc. One of the more veteran handlers we can see within this team of 12 years of experience for Flot. Lehman throwing up line. And that's right there to Duran. Duran on the goal line. Galand. Back to Lehman, and that is another connection score. That is twice both Galand throws to Lehman for a score. Two assists, two goals. Too much right there for Crazy Dogs on that point as Fly High lead 3-2. to two. And I think I saw one of the players of Fly High, her shoe sole just is completely broken. So <laughs> she'll need to have a bit of a change of shoe, maybe some duct tape. The Americans like their duct tape. Yes, we she do. Can find some. <laughs> There's a few things we don't like, <laughs> but we do like duct tape. As you see here, if she needs some duct tape in the production crew, we have a bit of duct tape. Probably the best duct tape I've ever seen. Helps us with it. It's what I'm sorry, Milan. It's gaffer tape. You gotta be religious about your tape. Sorry. No, again. See here, we're just having some laughs in the back. I'm going to do a quick shout out to everyone with us today as we see Fly High chucking the disc down the field. Number 53, Mullenbach with the disc. Slings it to Diego. Got to Mullenbach. Up the line. Shula. Shula Mullenbach. Back to Mullenbach. Diego. Mullenbach. Diego. Up to Schmidt. Diego. And as you can see here from the Crazy Dogs team too, especially when they come on their O line, they're using a lot of their handlers as well from Diego. Oh, and it's a rip away. Looks like both players came at the same time. But ultimately, no pun intended, <laughs> Ocker, Sophie Ackerman comes away with the disc. As you can see here, Sophie Ackerman getting a lot of the disc too in the game so far. And one of her fun facts is somehow is always open all the time and she's playing that out as we have a pick called. And it is affected as number 23, Sandra Smithers throwing it back to Diego. Molenbach. Diego. Up the line to Schmidt. Waiting with careful hands, Mira. And it is a turn for Crazy Dogs as Mira throws away the disc. Florence Windler picks up the disc. Looks like to number seven. Galve, and it's out of her reach. It was a good look, but just too far. And now the Crazy Dogs have to go all the way back up the field as Mullenbach walks slowly to the disc. Schuler back to Mullenbach. Schuler. Mullenbach. Up the line, and it looks like two of them, but Diego comes out with the disc. Up to Schuler. Samira. Moulin back. Ackerman. Moulin back. And the crazy dogs are within the red zone, looking at their options, trying to see Sophie Ackerman with the dis. And it's a hammy. And it's a caught hammy to Sandra Schmitter, number 23 from the Crazy Dogs. 
as they had to work the full length of the field to tie the score up 3-3. And what an impeccable offense that they had right there. And wow, what was happening right there unfolding under our eyes. As we could see a lot of handler work between both all the handlers, I should say, in <laughs> number 53, Michelle Molenbach, number 28, Sandra Schuller, and also number 26, Jolene De Yeager. And as we see right here too, you know, we like to have fun here. Let us know where you're from, where you're watching from. Give us a quick shout out. Give the your team a shout out, who you're rooting for, the Crazy Dogs or Fly High. Both of them under the tent. As we see the Crazy Dogs chuck it down deep. What other than Lehman picking up the disc, throwing it to Galland. A sweet connection as Val has said before. Up line to number 25, Erica Knights. Knights looks. Lehman gets the disc back. Throws it up the line to Gollin. As you've heard before, Gollin looking. Lehman almost there again. But good D right there. Duran with the disc. Duran throws it up. Lehman. And it is caught again to Duran for a 1-2. And that is fly high going up 4-3. You can see some howling in the back too. That's it's pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, the official name of the women's team is Louvre, which means she-wolves in English and comes from the, the symbol of the town of Lausanne, where we're from. So the howling is for that. <laughs> it would, I guess, an interesting compromise or contraction too, because we have that, and then we also have the crazy dogs. That's right. That's right, actually. So we're gonna see a lot of wolves here against lot of dogs. Yeah. Which one will prevail? And right now, it looks like the wolves are coming out, but the dogs have an opportunity to tie the game. And the pull from fly high goes to the crazy dogs. Mullenbach throws it. Schule. Back to Mullenbach. Mullenbach throws up. And it is caught by number 27, Kalbermatt. Kalbermatt. She has the disc. Diego. Mullenbach. Diego, and the wind takes that one just a little bit out of reach. But Guandagno throws it deep. Another one to Galvia. And another one out of the reach of Galvia. She can tell she's a speedster, though. She can get down the field. But as she mentioned before, too, before this point, it is hot outside. No, a few clouds in the sky. A little bit of wind, but it is scorching. Diego throws it up to Ackerman. Sophie Ackerman looking. Throws it to Schule. So Mulbach, Mulbach chucks it deep to Diego, but it also has Florence Windler there. Ah, and just out of the hands of Diego. I thought she might have come down with that one. Windler with the disc. The pass is completed. Another completed pass. Barclay with the disc. Looking up line to Godano. And Windler running deep, but it's over her head. And rolling out. The Crazy Dogs have another opportunity to score. See Shula slowly walking to the back to get the disc. Oh, 
And it is another timeout call during the game after a long point, a grind point as I like to call them. Getting some rest, resting up a little bit, talking strategies. He's in a great spot. Now. He's in a perfect spot. Yes, his massive head has blocked everything. Oh. That was a huge play, but we have seen face. none of it. Finney, Finney, he's done it. Connor. Yes, Connor. Have you signed up to the Multi TV Patreon yet? Uh, no, not yet. Why? We best get on it before London Invite. We've got 16 of the best men's and women's teams from around Europe, and it's the last stop before Worlds. And it's only 3.50 a month. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, I, I'll get on it later. It's uh, on the right tab for you there as well. Go electric, become a member. Voila. back a sick video from Swiss Ultimate letting you show what they have here in Switzerland again it's a very beautiful day very beautiful weather a little bit wind out here picking up just a bit but you couldn't ask for a better day as the crazy dogs get ready to set up with fly high coming out in defense and a split sack from the crazy dogs to start the game or start the point I should say after the timeout Crazy Dog receivers have so many weapons. You see Ackerman coming underneath. You see Vrakken coming. And is thrown to number 26, Diego, one of their main handlers. Ackerman with the disc. That's Ackerman, excuse me. That's Muldock. Schmitter. Muldbach. Schmitter. Diego. Schule. Kalbatmatten. Kalbatmatten looking around. And it's thrown to Gavier. Windler with the disc. Looking deep, thinks about it. Thinks again to get Barclay back to Windler. Windler up. Guagno. And it is a turnover, but it's a quick pickup to Moldbach for the Crazy Dogs. Moldbach to De Jaeger. She's looking deep. Windler not letting that happen. Jaeger trying to find an option here. You see Ackerman being that option. Mullback trying to get the disc, but it goes to Jaeger instead. Schmidt. The Jaeger just out of the reach. And it looks like number five, Roxanne Barclay, is not picking up the disc. She's running back to the back of the stack. <laughs> Faked me out there. Number two, Noe Guadagno. Some sweet fakes and some makes. And that is a fly high break with Windler scoring that point. And after a long timeout, it pays dividends for fly high as they go up three to five in the 32nd minute 
of this game. As we see here right there, the connection Guagno and Windler have for that score proves dividends for Fly High. And the disc is in the air, but not pulled. And it is pulled, Galand ready for that. And it stays in bounds as number 65, Schneider picks up the disc and throws it to Schneider. Verrocken. And it's a throw away in a D. Count that to the sheet for Erica Knights. Back to Knights. Nice up to Lehman, and that is a score. Another break for Fly High, three to six to double the lead. And if you're the Crazy Dogs now, getting a little bit of some questions asked. Facilitator for that point, Erica Knights. It's like I like to say, I don't like to have just a broad saying for bookends, being that you have to get the D and then also catch the score, because sometimes the assist is just as sweet. And right there, she got the D and then also had assisted. So I'll give her bookends on that end. And now Florence Windler chucking it down deep for the pull. And we see Good Tinger getting the disc and throwing it to Moldak for the center. Still playing person to person. Defense, Vlakin to Ackerman. Crazy Dogs looking for some answers right now as they've given up two breaks. And it is a drop from number 35, Normir. A rare drop, I should say. Guadagno. Duran. Quantagno, Windler, is that a catch? And it looks like it is. It's Rosa Hafter, number 57. Perfect. And like we said there too, her fun fact, she's got quick legs, quick moves, and she'll get there in that time. She got there in the back of the end zone for a score, making it look easy. And that is another fly high break, making it seven to three. Will they be able to break for the half. So we see here for Zod Radford in the chat, hip hip fly high, hip hip fly high. We know who they're rooting for as fly high or flying high seven to three. And it is a pull from Fly High. A little bit short, but it gets three-fourths of the way down the field. You see number 65, Deborah Schneider picking up the disc. Give it to number nine, Gamma. Vlaken. Vlaken looking around. And Steiner just not there enough as it is a D for number 25, Erica Knights, her second in the past couple of points. And it's too low for Zoe Evans there. As Crazy Dogs pick up the disc. Fula with the disc right now. 
for Schule. Schule to Steiner. Steiner looking, Gamma. Gamma with a sick throw upfield. Number 65, Schneider. And it's just out of the reach of Selena Flule. And a shameless plug too. If you are around Flula and you like spike ball, let her know. She is always looking for spike ball mates. Lumen looking around. She has an option in number five, Barclay. But Barclay throws it into the turf, giving Crazy Dogs great field position right in the end zone. So see Schule about to pick up the disc. Schule fakes the pass to make a pass, and that pass is caught in the end zone for Fiole. And that is a score for Crazy Dogs to stop the crazy train that has been going on from fly high and get back on the board four to seven. Now as we see the line out here for fly high, trying to break for half, or go up hold for half, excuse me. Looking at your teammates on the on the pitch, I guess what can we expect from this line? This line right here um, has a couple of really good handlers. and um, It also looks like there's eight players on the pitch. Oh, you're right, there is eight. That's a problem. <laughs> uh, there's two hands someone, up, two too many. Yep, they <laughs> just noticed. <laughs> okay. It was a special line, so yeah. a special weapon. As we saw here, <laughs> yeah, giving us a thumbs up. This is wheat. <laughs> and let's see if fly I can put it to. Windler with the disc. Waving off a cutter. And in a round throw, in a snag from Gavier. Gavier gets it to Guadagno. Gavier, back to Guadagno. And those fakes open up the throw to Windler. Windler right on the boundary. It gives a high release to number three, Maddie Dar. New Grand, excuse me. I'm distracted by the, the howling from the wolves in the back. And that is a break, eight to four, fly high, taking the lead over Crazy Dogs. What a first half that we have seen from both teams in this third place game. Very high intense, a lot of pressure, also a lot of fun. See going through a lot of key players. And Val, just kind of going through these replays, how would you rate your team's performance this half? Um, I think that the timeouts probably helped to, you know, recollect. And uh, I think they've played really, really well in the second part of this first half. Uh, and their defense looks strong to me. Um, quite a few run through D. The ultimate things in life are free. And we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. Sick video right there from our Ulti Team TV. And just to ask Val again, just yeah, I mean, building off the performances that we saw from the first half, it seems like, again, you said that they played great defense, capitalized their chances, and what else did they need or do you saw from the first half and maybe to improve for the second half? Yeah, I think the defense is looking really well for Fly High at the moment. Uh, and I think on the offense side, uh, they could be a little bit cleaner. Maybe don't play as quickly. Wait, you know, a couple seconds more for the smarter option. But, I mean, we've seen them uh, take the lead in the second half of the first half. So I'm personally pleased about that. And we'll see how the second half goes.
and we are excited for Fly High to get to that second half. And for the Crazy Dogs, kind of what have you seen as well too? Maybe just like a brief summary of everything going on. Yeah, I think for Crazy Dogs, maybe it's uh, actually think their offense is probably a little stronger than Fly High. Um, and that their throws are a little bit cleaner. And I think if they continue like that and if they, um, yeah, I'm not sure, maybe bring the intensity up a little bit, get that fire on a little bit more, um, they'll be able to come back and give Fly High a bigger fight. And that's a perfect analysis, I think, too. We can see in the Crazy Dogs, they have the intensity in them. They have the capability of coming back as well, too. The game is definitely not over as the second half starts. And Fly High are looking to put this game away but it will not be an easy task as the Crazy Dogs are ready to pull with number 14, Selena Flula, picking up the disc. And again, I love hearing the howling in the background from Fly High and also the cheers from the Crazy Dogs. Open division team up in the stands, making it real passionate out here. You can see the stands are getting filled. Fleurle throws the disc down deep. And the pull gets us underway for our second half. So you see Barclay picks up the disc. Lumen, the maestro de Garland. The other maestro throws it up. A clean look to Hafter. Hafter throws it to Scarne. Back to Lumen. And fly high, picking up right where they left off, right in the end zone. And that is a score for fly high to capitalize off of that. As we see again the howling in the background from the fellow supporters of the open team. And that is four to nine fly high. And a little one-two right here from Valentine Descarne to Lumen. And line Lumen throws her into the end zone for the point. A hockey assist and a score. Florence Windler with a disc in her hand, ready to pull it to Crazy Dogs. Crazy Dogs looking on offense. As you've seen here, their stronger suit, seeing if they can minimize their errors to get back on the board. As De Jaeger picks up the disc and throws it to Moldback. And an interesting development in the later part of the first half. De Jaeger, who has the disc now, suffered a nosebleed right in front of us. Kept her out for a few points, but as you can see, she cleaned up, came right back in, and is making an immediate impact as she's running up the field. It is a shot across field from Moldbach, and it is caught by Vlaken. Simone Vlaken to Diego. Back to Ackerman. Ackerman throws it up line. It is a tip. For number 27, Kalbermen, but then it is a catch in a strong, emphatic spike from Sandra Smitter to be focused and stay with the disc there as the Crazy Dogs get on the board 5-9. to nine. That was a very nice catch. Just shows again that until the disc is on the ground, the disc is not dead. Exactly, and it's a great way to put it. And she kept with the focus. As you see Sophie Ackerman catching the disc right along the boundary, throws it up, and it looks like it's a good throw right through the hands. But Smitter sticks with it, gets the focus, and dives on the ground, showing that she catches the disc. And the score is for Crazy Dogs, as Fly High are looking to get on the board and double the lead as well. And the disc just makes it just past half field for the Crazy Dogs. Fly high with some good field position. Lemon picks up the disc. Oh, 
This gun. This car throws it up. Is it right there for Gala? And she dives on the ground, but it's out of the reach. It's just, just, just too short. And the Crazy Dogs have an opportunity for a break here. Who's here? Gotinga throwing it. Shoot throws up. Vlaken. Vlaken looking for options. Gets an option with an interesting inside to Flule. Flule gets hand blocked. But it doesn't matter as Gamma is still there. Gamma with the disc. Fakes a pass, throws it back to Flule. Flule throws it in, and it is a break, a much needed break for Crazy Dogs as Windinger scores that shot in the end zone, and that takes it. Crazy Dogs six, fly high nine. Nice Widdinger has, quote, the most beautiful Austrian accents you have heard. And that was a beautiful score to get the break up for Crazy Dogs as they throw it deep. Seeing if they can use the momentum for Fly High, but Fly High won't let that happen. As Windler picks up the disc. Guadagno. Looking like a puppy fence zone from Crazy Dogs, quite effective. Walker just a little short, trying to dive for the catch. And the Crazy Dog zone, as you said, is effective in getting the turn. Number 43, Julia Steina picks up the disc. It's looking for options. Diego with the disc. Steina with the one-hand snag. And it's almost a full extension grab by Vraken, but Florence Windler's right there to get it anyway. Barclay with the disc. Guagdagno. Quaka. Windler. And they're in the red zone, fly high. High release. Guagdagno scores, flying down to the floor getting the goal. And that is six to 10 fly high in the 50th minute of the game. And that's just confirming what we have said. It's 10 to six fly high, looking good. And being aware, that's why you catch your Ds here as you see Windler facilitating the flow. Guagdagno, Quelker. Windler on the sideline. And just a cheeky high release throw from Naomi Guagdagno to come down with the score. Elaine Lehman gets us started on the pole. With the Crazy Dogs coming down on offense. Schneider getting a set. Shula's looking for options right now. And finds an option in Mulbach. Back to Schule. Mulbach. 
Fly High playing some great match defense right now. Asking some answers. Brocken gets the disc. Matthew Mulbach making it real hard for the Crazy Dogs offense to get anything. Schneider going, gets it up line to Mulbach. Mulbach takes a few steps, chucks it down. Is anybody there? They are there, but it's not who she's looking for. As we see number 57, Rosa Hafter with quick legs and quick moves getting to the disc. Lon Lehman picking up the disc now. Jenna Kloszczyk throwing it to Godland. Godland through the legs and up to Lehman who throws it deep to Duran and she gets there and she will not get there. Crazy Dogs with an opportunity after a turn to hold. Schneider picks up the disc, and it's an immediate turn as Gillet is right there waiting. Lehman picks up the disc. Right on the boundary, looking for cuts, looking for handlers. Galon's right there. Galon, it is a turn around, turn away. Duran in the end zone again, but just out of bounds. As we see here, Michelle Moldbach picking up the disc on the cone. And it's probably the first time I've said this today, but it's Cal territory for those that don't know. We are in San Diego. Schneider with the disc. Lobach. Lobach throws it across the field and a vision is successful to Fleur. To Molbach. And it is up. Schneider. Molbach. And it is denied by Rosa Hafter, but there's a foul called as they discuss this. Because as we see the replay here, it looks like maybe that there was a trip there on number 14 Fleur. And I think she's saying that enabling, enabling excuse me, her ability to catch that disc. That is some intense shoe tying right there. <laughs> it is. Make sure they're high and tight. All right. And there is the foul is retracted. Lehman picks up the disc after runs. But it looks like it's snagged by Godland for another connection there. I don't think they matter. You know, whoever wants to catch the disc can get it as long as they score. Great teammates all around. Just happy to be here. Happy to get the point. And that is a break for Fly High 11-6. As you can see, their open team is very excited. We see here Wendler with the disc getting ready to chuck it deep for another pull. Fly high looking to see if they can double their lead with a break. Crazy Dogs looking to see if they can turn around, make it 7 11. Diego, Ackerman, Ackerman up to Rocken. 
Walking to Steiner. Steiner Schmidt. Schmidter back to Steiner. But Dinger. Ackerman. Steiner throws it up, looks in the back. Dieger back there, space to go. And that is a catch and a score. Make it 7-11, Crazy Dogs getting a point here, trying to come back on fly high. We see here the vision from Julia Steiner just to wait to last second, load up the cannon, shoot it deep to Jaeger. And we usually see Jaeger in the back with the handler set, but this time she decided to go deep and catch one for the crazy dogs. So we see here Sandra Schrille the most experienced player on the team, ready to chuck it deep. Shula with 12 years of experience in the game, playing ultimate, ready to lead this Crazy Dogs team to a break as they chuck it down deep. And it is not stopped, kept rolling, but Duran picks it up and it's out of the reach for Galand. I think she just got a hand on it. Diego picking up the disc. Faking a pass, making a pass. Schneider. Gutinga. Flule. Gutinga trying to get the disc. Clears out for Diego. Diego to Flule. Flule up line to Gama. And what a cut right there by Jaeger. Jaeger in the red zone. Crazy Dogs trying to punch it in. Not forcing anything. The stall is getting high and they throw it back to Flule. Has a connection cut. But a cheeky inside to Rhea Guttner. Who gets the break for the Crazy Dogs? And that's 8-11. Two points in a row for the Crazy Dogs there in that sequence. As we can see here, the crazy dogs moving around in their end zone set, especially with their D-line O, looking cheeky, getting an inside throw for an easy score. And it looks like we have a timeout called. Again, always a great use of timeouts, I think. You know, you can never take them to the next game. You might as well use them, get a break. It's hot out here in beautiful sunny Neon, Switzerland as we put you to this video. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. And we're back after the timeout called Crazy Dogs Are Coming. Fly high, I want to see if they can stop a little bit of the bleeding. Strategic timeout, I believe, called for both teams. And we get rocking. With rocking. That was not intended. <laughs> but it happens anyway. Sometimes the jokes write themselves. And rocking throws it deep on the pull. 
As you see Barclay gets the disc and centers it to Windler. Cuts coming out the back from Fly High. A secure catch from Hafter. Hafter to Barclay. Barclay to Windler. Back to Barclay. Windler. Half to. Windler. Bordogno. Half to. Fly high across the halfway point, slowly but surely taking the passes that they're giving. Crazy Dogs are playing some intense defense right now. Cole Welker throws it. And the win might have taken that win a little bit. Bogo Dogno falls to the ground, as you can see right here in this replay. And the disc is up, and it is deep, and it looks like Rakin right there on the brink of success as they score. Number nine, Jordis Gama getting it, and that is another break for the Crazy Dogs, scoring to make it 9 to 11 against Fly High, and that is breaks on top of breaks. Breaks coming trains and pairs, however you want to say it. And the Crazy Dogs are riding their momentum. I think this is the point in the game where the mental toughness becomes as important as the physical um, toughness, to, I guess you can call it, but where it's not just legs that matter, but also what you're thinking in your head. I think both teams now, uh, I think Fly High needs to refocus, and uh, Crazy Dogs is probably going to use the few points they just got to build on that as well. And that is beautifully put as well, too. When your team coming up from that down that much. It was 6 to 11, and the Crazy Dogs have rattled off three straight points to make it line 11. That can really affect your game. And the Crazy Dogs can use that momentum, but Fly High have the techniques, they have the skills, and they have the players to fix the ship. As we see here, Erica Knights chucks it deep, but it looks like it was just a hand block right there to Sandra Smitter. And Crazy Dogs with another opportunity to break. Shula with the disc. Scanning for options. It's getting hot, but it's thrown right to Erica Knights for another D. She's been getting Ds all day. Layman picks up the disc. Surveys the field. Patiently waiting. Cuts need to happen, and it happens. Erica Knight with some bookends right there for a score, and that stops the bleeding for fly highs. They go up 12 to nine over the crazy dogs. You don't even need to say anything about that. That's just how much passion goes into this game. Both teams are bringing it. They love to compete, and they love to be here as much as we do too. And Neon Switzerland covering the Switz championships. As we have more on store for you today as the next game, Fab versus the Panthers. The Panthers yesterday with a big upset against Free Speed, who played earlier today, and Fab being in the final as they had the intentions to. So don't go anywhere right after this game. As we see here, beautiful mountain shot of the facilities. We're just happy to be here. Windlift throwing it deep. About to the brick mark here. Gamma with the disc. Flula looking. Oh, Gamma, Schneider. Steiner, Gamma, Diego. And a rare mishap, but I think there's a foul called on the throw. She can hear Diego talking to Lehman. Eureka number 13, about a potential foul on the throw. 
uncontested, and it stays with the Crazy Dogs. Steiner throws it to Gutzinger. Gutzinger throws it to Flule. Flule chucks it deep, and who other than Sophie Ackerman running deep and catching that score, and it is 10 to 12. Crazy Dogs are still within this game. Fly High try to end it in the 67th minute. We've seen some howling from Fly High, but now it looks like some barking from Crazy Dogs in the stands, trying to get their team amped up as they came back again from 6-11 all the way up to 10-12. And just a bomb from Flele. This Sophie Ackerman, who we've seen all day going deep, catching anything just about, honestly, coming down from unders, one of their better receivers, making a huge catch. And Fraken again, not the best pull coming and starting within the Crazy Dogs territory, right outside of the red zone. As Lumen picks up the disc, Knights. Galde, Galde throws Galand in the end zone and a quick strike for Fly High to go up 10 to 13. As you can see, they were hyped, made it look effortless with great field position to start after the pull. And right there too, I really think that short pull gave a great advantage to fly high. I mean, can you talk a little bit more about, I guess, just how much it really does impact having that short of a field position yeah, to play? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like for here, as we saw it, three or four passes were enough, like short passes were enough to get into the end zone. Whereas where the pool is longer, you have to work a lot more and a lot longer. And um, yeah, I, it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate for Crazy Dogs. Um, but yeah, the pool does help. And that is... Great analysis, too, by, again, one of Fly High's very own Val Schindler in here in the booth with us. Again, my name is Corey Sersery, bringing you great content here from the Swiss Championships. We have Schule throwing the disc to Flule. Flule throwing back to Schule. Steiner. Flule. Steiner. Crazy Dogs looking for a little bit more of an ambitious throw, but Gamma is there anyway. She stays in bounds. And there's a pick called. Don't think it affected the play. Looks like a discussion about the pick call might have happened a little bit earlier. And the disc does come back. Steiner, high release throw to Gamma anyway. Back where they picked up off. Gamma getting halfway through to Wendinga. Wendinga looking at Schneider. Steiner gets it. Steiner gives it to Ackerman. Ackerman's looking for some options. High up in the air, and it is caught by Guantagno. Guantagno throws it to Windler. Will she get there? She does get there. Doesn't have many options. Options are coming, though. Guantagno for a 
break. And that is 14 to 10, fly high. Taking a good advantage after the timeout called earlier there. Running on a little bit of a run themselves. Expanding the lead and seeing if they can break for the game. It's a fly high supporter. You have to be excited. But the crazy dogs aren't just going to roll over. They're going to play intense too. And they're going to see if they can get as many points as possible. Yeah, we saw earlier they were able to come up three breaks in a row. So we definitely know they have that in them. So the game's not over for sure. But just some cool connections there with Guagdagno and Windler. A one, two, four score. Mm -hmm. Yes, these two and about actually half of the roster of Lausanne are going to the World Masters in two weeks in Ireland. So um, it's understandable that they have some good connection as well. And it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun too. Unfortunately, two weeks we will not be in the Ireland Masters, but we will be in London Invite where you can catch us streaming as well. Great play, great commentators. And next week we will also see Windmill, one of the most hyped tournaments of the year so stick around and just hang out with us honestly so we see crazy dogs going up the field Vraken throws it away to Vraken yes there are two Vrakens if you haven't caught on today and there's two Lehmans with one Lehman with the disc right now Lehman Duran Duran trying to end the game here Lehman Waves him off. Finds Galan though. But there's a pick called, and I think this one is going to be affected. But I can come in Lumen on the disc again, but it goes right back to Garland anyway. Garland to Lumen. Oh, and she leaves her feet, Huge but bid. it's just too far. It was textbook bid, but the throw was just out of her reach. And now Crazy Dogs with another opportunity to hold. The Jäger to Vraken. The Jäger, Molbach. Molbach instructing the fit. Vraken. The Jäger. Schneider. Molbach. The Jäger. But a foul called. This looks like it might have been a step on Jurek Lehmann's leg. But it's uncontested. Touch hands. Again, good spirits, good vibes here. Molbach looking around. Gets it to Schneider. Schneider to Vlaken. Vlaken to Vlaken. The Jäger. Molbach. Up the field, back to Vlaken. And they are about in the red zone. The Jaeger. Cobbler Martin throws it up, but the Jaeger gets it anyway. And is there a pick call? Haven't recognized though. The Jaeger, Schneider, crazy dogs knocking on the door. The Jaeger. Molbach throws across the field and it is caught. Kalberman with another throw and it looks like it's tipped by Garland. Fly high, looking to get it, but it's a timeout called. From fly high, the length of the field to go. But the most important point right here to see if they can break to win. A very important timeout called. And let's see if it pays fruition for them.
The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, back to you. Connor. Yes, Connor. Have you signed up to the Ulti TV Patreon yet? Uh, no, not yet. Why? We best get on it before London Invite. We've got 16 of the best men's and women's teams from around Europe, and it's the last stop before Worlds. And it's only 3.50 a month. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, I, I'll get on it later. It's uh, on the right tab for you there as well. And we're back again after the timeout. Fly high, trying to break to win the game. If you're just joining us, we've had a close game in the beginning in the first half. Then it became 6-11 to 11 fly high. Crazy Dogs getting it down to 12-10. And fly high taking it all the way up to 14-10 with an opportunity here to end the game on a break. But the Crazy Dogs will not allow that to happen as there's been energy and brilliant frisbee played all around. Been happy to be here with my counterpart, Val Schindler. Garland with the disc. Both teams grinding it out. Durand. Looking at Lehman. Lehman points up. Beautiful throw. Lehman trying to scan the field. Throws it to Garland. Galan throws it up to Knights. Another Lumen. Galan. Lumen. Knights. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? It goes in, and it is good. That is the game. Fly high. Lucien wins the bronze and third place trophy here at the Swiss Championships. And you can see they are hyped. What a competitive game from both teams. Val, so how do you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's got to be good. I just want to run on the field, to be honest. Go this for is it. So go good. for it. Yeah. And that's exactly what Val's going to do. Run on the field, go celebrate with her team. Thank you again for having us. Thank you for having her. Again, she's been fantastic on the comms as well, providing in-depth information. What a game for the third place women's division. We've had a lot going on. It has been fantastic couldn't ask for much more as we see in the comments fly 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 and they are flying high C crazy dogs giving up a great fight coming all the way through but don't go anywhere folks stick around we have plenty more the finals are coming up to see who takes home the gold and first we're going to do the open division with the flying angels burn fab against the panthers the panthers pulling off a great upset against free speed yesterday don't go anywhere and then after that we have the women's final with Fabulous versus Swarm. And yeah, just keep it up. It's going to be exciting. Again, I'm your host, Corey Sostre, along with Val Schindler. But don't go anywhere. We have plenty more frizz to come. And if you want a little bit of a break, go ahead and check out our French championships over with our other team in Ulti TV. Connor. Yes, Connor. Have you signed up to the Ulti TV Patreon yet? Uh, no, not yet. Why? We best get on it before London Invite. We've got 16 of the best men's and women's teams from around Europe, and it's the last stop before Worlds. And it's only 3.50 a month. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Well, I, I'll get on it later. 
We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. TV. Alti TV. Three, two, one. Yeah.